Hello, everyone. Welcome to Brock Shinaplo's Fictional Reality. We're playing some D&D 5e today, continuing on with a module called Glitter Doom by Goodman Games. Um, I'm Haplo of Samsara, Assassin to the Stars. And I'm the bruiser brackish Kemp. <laughs> Swooping in with his awesome camera after a couple of uh, <laughs> technical difficulties, like uh, like always. I'm glad we get them I'm ironed out. I'm just a little out. guy today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we get them ironed out way quicker than we used to. We used to, like, <laughs> cancel streams. Just fucking throw it in the garbage. <laughs> We're not doing it today. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> so... I'd like to uh, reintroduce you to a couple other players, the newest being Lolly Poppins here in the middle of the screen before you. How are you, Lolly? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. What has your, how has your week been? How was your first session compared to, uh, you know, a week after? It was <laughs> awesome. I've been looking forward to this week. Yeah, and, good. Uh, yeah. I'm a little run down. I was sick last week and I'm still sick. It's mm. not COVID, but, uh, you know, yeah. it might be a little... Yeah, that, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. I like COVID. Everybody leaves me alone. I can stay <laughs> in my house. <laughs> yeah, just uh, yeah. get used to being sick and uh, just call it. Just call it COVID. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I had to Pretty put sure it's COVID. To nope. hide my, my tired eyes. <laughs> well, you look great. Don't worry about it. You look Thank fine. You. Just fine. <laughs> <laughs> but not nearly as good as uh, Bandito for you over here. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, freshly recovered. I am feeling awesome today. <laughs> good, good. They yeah, won't shut up about it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Go Oilers. Score that touchdown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because you were the one that was uh, a little under the weather for a couple weeks straight. So it's going around. Um, what's going around? I see uh, COVID, uh, had the flu right after the fact. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, lots of rest, all that good stuff. Got you back on. Yeah, top, eh? yeah, yeah. If you could call that crap rest, I mean, really. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that crap rest. Yeah, sealing up windows from storms and shit like that. <laughs> Best rest. Don't ever. remind me of that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the Brewers of Brackish. Nice of you to join us. Uh, out of town once again, huh? Making that bank as you do. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> a great time out here in Kitimatu, so <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great because you got all some, right you got your stag finally coming up this weekend Excited? oh yeah i've uh, put together a, wow. the organizing of a few things nothing crazy crazy but um i think it'll be a great time everyone's on board Obviously you're the best man i am i'm the bestest man <laughs> what kind of uh, crazy shenanigans do you have planned for him i don't know his brothers are a lot better with that stuff i'll say that oh no <laughs> they had some ideas so we'll see we'll see i'm i'm pretty i don't know i'm a pretty casual person so i don't really even go that direction i know a, a friend of ours from mcleod that was the uh, best man at my wedding he taped big beers to my hands so tight that i couldn't feel my fucking hands i had to like okay just drink them it's like <laughs> take a piss so <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know my oldest brother stag he was uh unconscious probably about 8 30 and uh oh, <laughs> my little brothers I, I never made it to but it was some crazy out in the woods party so oh wow <laughs> hoping yeah. to set the bar a little higher with this one you know <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Demers, he's the all You're right, right man. man. Jeez. When did, <laughs> what? when did she get such a hate on for me lately? <laughs> she doesn't like anybody gloating about themselves. Oh, I see. Oh. All right. I'll remember that when. Uh... <laughs> okay. All it's right. It's going in the speech. <laughs> so. Moving on, after saying hello, we have a little announcement. Uh, you might notice a little icon next to the Dungeons & Dragons there. It is uh, Arkin Forge. We've been using their ambience and sound effects and stuff like that for our podcast. And we've done the same, plus all the maps and map making for this stream amongst uh, the Fallout stream. And I'm going to get some together for Brackish's uh, Witchlight one as well. But we are... I just sent an email away with some information to link us as an affiliate with them. They will be uh, handing us over a uh, just a, a little go-to code for uh, when you go to checkout so you can get a discount on it. And we can spread the love, that is, of Arkenforge from us to you. So 
look out for that because we'll plast- plaster it all over our social media stuff and yeah. be very uh, exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah. I've been really looking forward to getting in there with it. We talk about it enough and we use it all the time. So I'm really happy to be able to promote this game in such a way. So thank you, Akin Forge. <laughs> Everybody say thank you. <laughs> thank you, Matt. Fuck Hello. you, Haplo. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> oh, but that's the only announcement other than Tyson uh, stag this weekend. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's this weekend. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So no streaming oh. this weekend. We'll be f- uh, f- fucking waste time. You'll be, here. <laughs> we'll be, we'll be, we'll be right. gone. <laughs> we're not here anymore. So. So, I can already see it. it's going to be an awesome stag. They're going to be, you know, role playing. No, I, yeah, I doubt it. Not with that crowd. <laughs> Not with that crowd, unfortunately. With, with all the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had, uh, you know, I love the idea of trying to get people who don't play these type of games on board with some sort of clever, like, Tr- not trick but like sim- ruse si- ruse or like simplify it enough to like get them on board get the best parts of the games some people love the mechanics usually not brand new uninterested people so you know but i decided no nope, no nope, just beers golf that type of stuff <laughs> <Yay! By request. laughs> i spill in the beans so i gotta shut up so we can <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta get into this episode the session of Glitter Doom. All right, I have a little beginning narrative before we do a recap of last, but to set the stage here, we will be getting into Ark and Forge with a little ambience here. How does that sound to everybody? Not too loud, not too quiet? Nope. All right, so we begin this session with a little look into the past. The sound of metal picking away at the hard stone beneath the surface of a peaceful land. Deeper and deeper, the dwarves of the solitary Steel Hand clan dig in search of precious ore and gems. Modest riches have been stripped from the depths already, but the work is not done. Hopes that more will be found is ever present, so they dig. Currently working alone, As their brethren have gone for more water, a young dwarf wipes the sweat from his brow before striking the earth in front of them once more. A great strike with their perfectly crafted pickaxe knocks a large section of rock down from the end of this tunnel, and the young dwarf's eyes shimmer in what they've found. A small fist of emerald shines back at them, and they pause in its beauty. Raw and hidden from the gods for who knows how long, It is here now and ripe for the taking. As the dwarf works to reveal as much as they can, it's obvious now that a new vein of gold has been struck. Their heart flutters in excitement, and they have freed the green gem from its earthly hold. This find will surely solidify a place for them amongst the others of their clan. Or, or it can remain hidden for just a little while longer, coveted, and kept secret just a little longer. It is, it is exactly when the dwarf decides to place the stone in their pocket when their companion returns. Let's take a break, brother. You work too hard. Dropping the vessel of water, the companion's eyes light up all the same at the sight of the newly revealed vein of glimmering gold. A smile slowly grows on each of them as they stare. A long while passes, both of them are now lost in the prospect of what these riches will grant. And then, from from the very ore itself, they hear in their own heads, separate from one another in every way, a voice whispers, Mine. And it is there we will transition over to a little bit of ambience within the knuckle, a stronghold built by old dwarves, recently found by a man named Ochre Iron Eyes. He has tasked the three of you by invitation to come and help him rid the evil that has somehow taken over this place. We have 
Broyden and his little mouse, Squeaker. Want to tell us a little bit about yourself in the moment while I transition the map here? Oh, I'm just, uh, you know, the rogue arcane trickster. Um, very sneaky, this light, light foot halfling. Um, yeah, I just picture him like the Hobbit style, but he's, uh, he's sassy and he doesn't let things go. He likes to call people out. So, <laughs> well, there's deep voice. <laughs> he asks a lot of questions too. <laughs> <laughs> and you fared pretty well in the last, uh, battle we had in the last game there, didn't you? Yeah. I'm really liking stepping into a rogue here. Yeah. <laughs> Very, very nice. So with Sneak this, attack! <laughs> get those day sixes. <laughs> Shadow stepping, if you will. Oh, yes. So quiet. Yes. <laughs> so with, uh, oh, there was one little one little glitch in my maps here. You might see this, like, wall of stone. And it sometimes goes away, but unfortunately, I couldn't get it to go away this time. But I was uh, picturing it like a vein of ore going yeah, through there. Yeah, there you go. It works, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, the the, uh, the party had entered the space and within mere minutes were in battle amongst a small grouping of what Okar referred to as stone ghosts, um, brethren of his past, his ancestry, that looked to have been after after death taken over by minerals just embedding their skin with ore like even little veins of ore embedded in them as you guys fought they would crumble away to the ground as the as the ore itself just dissipated back and absorbed into the ground around you you found a massive pile of bones from dwarf and mule alike alongside tracks that were used to haul the ore from this mine uh, that Okar would have expressed exists below uh, this this uh, stronghold. So here you are now in this first chamber, the only the first chamber, and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> just uh, defeated the first set of enemies. Uh, I believe it was Willow who had were, was on the edge of uh, opening the next door, but if there's anything you guys wanted to ask question-wise, or if you wanted to jump right in, uh, go right ahead. Uh, just, I seen uh, she was investigating the other door. Um, I'm going to look at these columns and see if there's anything on them, any depictions, even maybe using my thieves' cant for any kind of hidden writing on them or just anything. Okay. Anything on those columns. All right. You make me an investigation uh, check and let me know what you get. Willow. Nope. No? You didn't get nothing? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> nope, I won't do that. <laughs> I'm not going to let you know. <laughs> Willow, as you float on your disc, um, how about you remind the viewers real quick uh, your class and, and race and stuff? Uh, I'm level three rock gnome wizard. And, yeah, I... Uh, are out of spell slots. <laughs> uh, I'm known for my intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, yeah. And that's it. Yeah, and your uh, your best invention is. <laughs> I invented an air fryer. Woo! I like You're, fried food a you'll lot. Be known across the land I, uh, forever and ever. <laughs> I, I I think I stand uh, three foot three and I, I weigh one hundred and ten pounds. <laughs> it's an air fryer, which is a lot. Yeah. Isn't that healthy? Yep. Nope. Ish. Okay. <laughs> we add oil to it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> to make up for the lack of oil, I gotta like drizzle some on top. You know. It's not so much yeah. the cooking; it's all the sauces that we put on it. Exactly. Exactly. No, I, I'd like to think that I, I invented the little attachment and turned it into an air fryer to get rid of all the grease, because like I am, uh, you know, a tinker and health conscious. I just eat a lot that's all yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't enough. judge me i mean it's really good it tastes fucking awesome we'll give you that <laughs> we don't blame you at all but here you are now before a door that you wish to investigate um how how were you approaching this next door i feel like we kind of played it but i didn't give you a roll or anything like that 
Yeah, um, I just wanted to, I don't know, give it a bit of a, a listen and yeah. Okay. It's a pretty heavy stone door, right? I don't think I can move it by myself. Yeah. So yeah. And you did, uh, for all uh, intent here, you did notice another door on the opposite end of this uh, room mm -hmm. as well. I think I, I think I described that uh, last time. But um, give mm -hmm. me a perception check as you approach this door, looking to try and hear something on the other side. We'll bounce back to Brad Kashir real quick. What did you get on your investigation? Twelve total. Twelve total. Uh, Ten plus two. <laughs> <laughs> you move about this space, and you're not learning too much more than what you did before. You don't see any signs of of this uh, thieves can't this rogue language that you're uh, so familiar with in this space. Um, how about we jump over to Grom as well? You just finished a rage from last session. You're just finishing this battle. What are you thinking or doing? Just pacing around, just like, oh, oh. just wondering what's behind these stupid doors and, and if I'm going to have to carry anybody out of here. Okay. Words, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How is everybody sitting for health at the moment? Pretty good. Like just scratched. Okay. Okay. We are. I still to... carry a, a higher AC thanks to. Uh, damn it. Willow. Willow. Yes. Yes. That's Willow right. Smith. The mage armor has been cast on uh, Broyden. I got these post its up here. You'll see me glance up and look. <laughs> but uh, what did you get on your perception there, Willow? 13. With a 13, you, you see Willow float up and press her head up against the stone, and it's cold as, as, you, as you do so, but you don't hear anything on the other side, nothing of, uh, that would alert you to uh, danger or anything else in particular. Almost the, I'll uh, turn. the, sorry, oh. almost the pacing of Grom as he kind of settles down, and it kind of distracts you even a little bit. Go ahead, Brian. As I see him still working down from his rage there, just tried to distract him a little bit. Hey, Grom, maybe we need to check this other door out here. Uh, I just kind of just grunt at him and just just march over to the door. <laughs> Give me some help investigating. You guys going to the other door? Yep. The other uh, door. Okay. Just again. <laughs> All right, my bad. <laughs> we'll Go check this. the other door. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's that role play. <laughs> All right. As the pair of you go and uh, begin to help each other try and investigate, is there anything other than just you're just kind of listening like you spoke to? Once Me? Or isn't you were doing it together? If, if, or did I hear Yeah, that no, I'd literally, I'd be like looking for any kind of, I don't know, glyph or any telltale sign um and even even running my hands on it stuff like that finding a lock or a keyhole you know okay uh, yeah. what's this <laughs> okay give me an investigation check um grom are you kind of doing the same thing you're kind of aiding it do you want to give him advantage on something like that or do you want to do your own role i'll i'll aid him in in looking to see if there's a keyhole but if i don't find one he might start like uh Thinking about, I wonder if my ball can go right through this 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 uh, stone door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, yeah, give me that roll there, uh, Broiden. Ooh, this time with a big 18, 16 plus two. As you're uh, scanning this door alongside Grom, you notice a symbol uh, midway up. You know, a dwarf's height that uh, has the symbology of of like treasure like a treasure chest if you will treasure chest yeah just like something that would almost speak to you as like you know when you're in the the airport and it's like go that way for this one go that way for that yeah. <laughs> gate one gate like... five blah, blah. you you see like this label of the symbol of this little treasure chest treasure ahead <laughs> <laughs> hey Iron hide. <laughs> no answer. Are you talking no. about? Are you talking about Iron? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it said his name. <laughs> okay. Hey, Iron hide. Hi. Hi. Oh, what? And, he's, and he was just like, you know, 
hanging out with Willow over here. Goes, oh, it's Iron Eyes, you, you twit. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Get over here, you chicken shit. Does this mean anything to you? Oh, yeah, I forgot that he rolled that fucking one, and now he's, his <laughs> reputation is shot now. <laughs> As he marches over to you, he's like, oh, fucking call me weak. And he's like, be, kind of, you know, prepping himself to for this little interaction almost as you say that to him. You point out this symbol and he goes, oh, oh yes, I was too distracted last time we were here to, to even look about this own, this room. But if we were to go this way, I'd swear the treasury or, or uh, the, the, the safe or anything, it's got to be this way. I didn't notice anything alongside Willow on the other side there, but... I could swear that we'd be on to the right track of going this way. These are your people. You don't uh, know how to open these doors? Well, I mean, is it is it locked? Did you check? I mean, and with your investigation. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> fuck, and shaking my head. <laughs> and with your I'll try, <laughs> try to pull or push oh, the door. Yeah, I'll, with your investigation, I'll say that, yeah, you kind of like, I attempted to. I won't. <laughs> you had a high enough <laughs> roll that I won't let you <laughs> shit the bed on that one. Um, <laughs> Willow, on, you're on the other side of the room. Okar has kind of stepped away. Is there anything else, knowing that you haven't heard anything on the other side of this door that you'd like to do or think about? Yeah. Um, I'd like to use my Ring of the Ram to attack this door. Okay. Okay, cool. Bust it open. Okay. <laughs> As you guys are fiddling about there, I'm I'm hovering back and winding up my ring. <laughs> Whammo! <laughs> and how how does your ring work exactly? What's the write up on that one? You spend a certain like a, there's a few charges to it, correct? Three. Three charges. Three charges. And how do those charges work? Uh, Okay, so each attack is uh, 2d10 force. My attack roll is oh. plus 7 bonus. I was just looking for my DM's guide here. I'm going to hit this door. To find the strength of rock. So go ahead and give me an attack roll. I believe you use your spell casting modifier for that one, right? Like still for an attack roll for it? What are you looking up specifically there, Apo? It is the Ring of the Ram. In the Dungeon Master's Guide? Uh, it'll, yeah, it'll be in the Dungeon Master's Guide, but I, I did... I just rolled a 20. What? <laughs> all right, all right. Roll me 2d10, please. Yeah. And add your... I guess there wouldn't be a modifier on that because it's a spell, but... Because I got it. I believe with one one attack was like one charge, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. So the okay. ring has... Oh. Go ahead, Brackish, read that out for us. Uh, ring rare requires attunement. This ring has three charges, and it regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. While wearing the ring, you can use an action to expend one of three of its charges to attack one creature you see within 60 feet of you. The ring reduce, produces a spectral ram's head and makes its attack roll with a plus seven bonus on a hit. For each charge you spend, the target takes 2d10 force damage and is pushed back 5 feet from you. Alternatively, you can expend 1 to 3 of the ring's charges as an action to try and break an object you can see within 60 feet of you that isn't being worn or carried. The ring makes a strength check with a plus 5 bonus for each charge you spend. Oh, makes a strength check. <clears throat> so it's not used for attack roll, sorry? Like... You can use it, but alternatively, oh, alternatively you can expend you can one to three okay. of the ring's charges as an action to try to break an object you can see. Okay, okay, sweet. So what did you get on those 2d10 there, Willow? Um, 11. 11? As you use this ring of the ram, uh, you, yeah, I feel like you're still in like that close vicinity. You didn't back up yourself, but as you let loose, it <laughs> smashes this force damage into the stone and a massive crater buckles it inward, and it crackles all the way across it, doing a heavy amount of damage to it, not completely obliterating it in this moment, but you hear the boom across this, this whole chamber. 
and uh, it would echo across quite loudly over to the rest of you in this room. <laughs> what the hell was even that? <laughs> I open the door. <laughs> My kind of girl. <laughs> Jesus. I, <laughs> I'm like looking at Grom. <laughs> Okar. What you go and do something like that for? Don't you know it, that anything could lie in here? Uh, uh, roll, uh, Willow, roll me a d20, please. Tell me here goes coming. little chicken shit again. <laughs> well, I think at this point, anything that's going to be after us will be more scared of us than we are of them. Ooh. Seven. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So you're left now as the as the ringing in your ears come subsides this heavily damaged stone door in front of you. Um, across the room, these uh, set of three have uh, been in this discussion interrupted by your act. So are we going or not? <laughs> I head over towards her. <laughs> like, <laughs> I kind of push her to the side and go right through the door. <laughs> you have to grab a few stones as it's buckled in. It is it is destroyed, but it's still kind of on itself. So you have to grab a few, pull it down. And as you do, you reveal uh, the interior of the next room before you. Let's see if it... Yeah, there we go. Upgrade. Move it over a little bit right about there. And I got a little narrative for the room from the module. It says, <clears throat> A closed door stands at the north end of the north-south corridor. The south, to the south, sorry, a mound of fallen stone slabs partially blocks the passageway. A large cavity is present in the ceiling directly above the pile. Beyond the fallen mass... The corridor ends in another closed door. A raised portcullis protrudes from a narrow gap in the ceiling, a short distance in front of the southern door. So I don't know if you can uh, get a great view on the map here. I'll zoom in. You had that. Define portcullis. <laughs> <laughs> it is a, I guess, how do you put it? It's just a, a pretty much a metal gate of bars that is used to, you know, securely stop a creature from passing usually found in right. castles and shit but it is or, in its... or, or sewage or sewage <laughs> nobody wants to get in there <laughs> so yeah this is it's in the upward position it looks yeah like all the stone that's on the ground came from above and that's what you see god damn it another room <laughs> I'm going for Grom to go in first. As you can. Willow, there's a hole in the ceiling. And a metal grate, but there's a lot of rocks in the way. Okay. Uh, and the metal grate is in its upward position, just so you know. It's not blocking your path. Right. Just but there is a the pile of stones. I float in after Grom. And as you join him in the space, you notice at your feet there, Willow, uh, what looks to be a skeletal hand and arm underneath one of the stones. Hey, Grom, check this out. Remove the stones, would ya? Take a look at that. All right. As I'm moving around stones and stuff. Yeah. Give me a strength check, please. Why don't you just ramp punch your way through them? <laughs> <laughs> I got Make, two charges left. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you got. You better keep those. <laughs> What'd you get on your strength check, sir? That would be a 21, sir. What? Dirty 21. So as you, yeah, you're marching through these stones, easily moving these for your not-so-strong uh, companion here. You manage to move one of the large stones, rolling it over, smashing against part of the wall, and underneath lays a armored, lightly armored dwarf that looks more like, it's more for just uh, general protection here, maybe a chain shirt and a helm, 
uh, with a heavily rusted pick uh, for a mining pick uh, on, in his in his grasp here, but it is uh, very skeletal. Ah, a weak one. Kind of just pick it up by the chain shirt and toss it to the side. Yeah, yeah, easily enough. Yeah, you toss this the whole body or this the shirt. <laughs> Well, whatever, whatever clings on to the shirt, you know, because it's, it's bones, uh, right? Right, so. right. Yeah, you pull it up, even yanking it, just clank, 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 a couple of bones, the helm, the head f- rolls towards and hits that northern door before you. Weak. Throw it to the side. Pick up the pickaxe. Might be useful. Put it in my pack. Okay. And you have yourself a general pickaxe, which I, th- I think there's a pick in the player's handbook if you needed some uh, numbers there for that. Maybe, maybe not. We can quickly look it up if you want to use it. So, but in general, uh, I'll look it up later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so as you two are looking about this room, think about what you'd like to do next, but we're going to jump over across the way here with Broiden and Okar, and Okar's like, so if they're done making a mess of the place, are we going gonna follow them or are you liking what you're seeing on this door here i know i am well we might as well see what's on the other side first as i grab it and try to open it all right just want to make sure that i get hurt <laughs> amongst <laughs> other things <laughs> uh go ahead and give me some banter while i look this up real quick <laughs> <laughs> Or role play. Uh, role play is better. <laughs> well, I'm by you. Yeah. So. So, I, 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 I direct that to everybody. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing over there? As I yell across there the room. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Nothing but weak corpses here. Oh, <laughs> uh, this one has the treasure chest. I want to see what's here. Uh, when you're done there, there's a hole you can crawl through. I'll throw you up there. Well, that doesn't sound very fucking appealing. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of look at Willow and just like, well, I could throw you up there too. You're welcome to try. <laughs> <laughs> as I as he, my as mask. <laughs> 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 I'm still I'm still going through the through the rubble on the floor just in case we might might have missed a weapon or something. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and make me an investigation check while we bounce over as you broid and grab onto this. And they're just like I mentioned before, they're inset handles to these to these stone doors. Uh, you grab it and you give it a pull and it 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 breaks its seal, if you will. A very light dusty wind kind of creaks into the space as you move it. And it, what do I see? Well, <laughs> I, uh, more or less alluding to that it was unlocked. I'm giving you that moment to whether or not you actually want to pass through is what I was getting at, but assuming you do. Yeah, just so I want to peek through the door, definitely. Okay, as you peek, peek through this door, you see... Beyond the locked door is a corridor running north to south. To the north, uh, you don't quite see with the peak, but through the south, you uh, see again... um, Actually, you you don't... You you catch a glance of something pacing at the end of the hallway to your right, if you will, as you look through this door. And then just very stealthily, I'm going to push the door back closed. (laughs) Okay, give me a stealth check. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Oh, with a nat 20 on the die, okay. plus five for my stealth, 25. Okay. Woohoo! First 20. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So you have managed to push that door back closed for the moment. And then I'll just step back. Iron eyes. Hi. <laughs> what do you see? There's there's something in there moving around. Fucking could be one of those blasted stone ghosts all the same. They could be 
anywhere, everywhere at the same time. You seen how they went through the floor, through the fucking walls? Did it move similarly to the... I would give you the, like, you heard a shuffling with its pace, uh, maybe a slight groan. It, you have a good idea that it could very well be one of the same creatures. Uh, it kind of moved like one of those anyways. Maybe we better not uh, split up here. That's probably a wise choice. As eager as uh, I am to pass through this door and find the treasure to my ancestors, you're, you're probably right. Let's, let's go see what the others are up to then. Yeah, yeah, I fight much better when I can hide behind the big fella there. <laughs> he has a huge bastard, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and as you both make your way across the space, even holding on a little bit to that stealth roll that you had, like your footsteps are non-existent, typically. You get to the doorway, almost having to step. You're, you're, you're like that pile of stone that was the door is before you as you look into the space these other two are in. Uh, Grom is still looking through all the rubble in this space. You look up and see that open uh, damaged ceiling. It is stone past that ceiling as well. It doesn't look like it leads up into anything in particular, like <coughs> an empty room above with light or anything like that. It does, you do catch the uh, more structure above. Um, but with an investigation check from Grom, what'd you get? 18. With an 18, uh, taking, you know, next five, upwards to 10 minutes as they've done their thing and come over, you're not finding anything else of, of interest in this room as you move about these little boulders. That's fine. Just crying. Uh, snort at the ground. This guy. Uh. And you are all left with this corridor. Just, door to the north. Door to you the smell south. that, Willow? I smell cowardice. <laughs> 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 I just give the kind of smirk and look over at Iron Knight again. But I see that door, and I'll start to head over to it as well. Okay. The, the, the door to the right of Willow Smith. And as you enter the space, you see a viewer named Astro Tide. Hello, Astro Tide. Just wanted to make sure we said <laughs> hi to people that are stopping by. Trying to look at this chat more often. I apologize for not engaging as much, but... I did thanks say for thanks you. for stopping by, Astro Tide. Did you did? Okay, waved. I just yeah. seen the bottom. I got a pretty small or little she window. Or he waved or... Awesome, awesome. So, Hello. <laughs> as you step into the space and make your way, sorry, to the southern door. No, no, no. I ain't going anywhere near that animal gate. And then you walk through <laughs> and... <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. The upper door to the right of Willow Smith, I said, as I went through the okay. door. Sorry, I was a little distracted with the chat on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna uh, do the same thing, quickly feel it and stuff, and then if there's nothing there, I'll pull it open. Okay, give me or a... Or push it. You want a perception or investigation on that one? Ooh, if I get the choice, I better look at what my better one is. <laughs> uh, investigation. <laughs> and is anybody aiding in this? endeavor with their own role or just in general kind of it's they're you know they're big enough space to to help out with something like that I'll, I'll allow I one of you over his shoulder all right <laughs> you i'm actually heading south through the portcullis okay yeah. <laughs> so you are just standing, <laughs> standing just under this <laughs> portcullis well, above still you in the same room we're i'm just yeah. checking the other side okay Okay, uh, same, same perception or investigation uh, I'll give you. And so, uh, Broyden, you feel the hot breath of Willow uh, behind you as you're uh, investigating or perceiving? <laughs> <laughs> I'm investigating. Is uh, Are you doing your own looks or are you just helping me look? Willow. She moves over on her uh, disc a little bit so I can step up and get a better look. <laughs> 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 using a leg up is that <laughs> willow do you have anything to say about that <laughs> Two. Um, <laughs> no i'm I, I mean i'm, I'm gonna help him investigate okay do i need to do a roll or what um you yep. can either make your own roll or you can give him advantage or vice versa maybe you have better investigation and he wants to give yeah you what's yours at uh plus three do it 
So All instead, right. I'm like lifting up her seat a little bit. Like I even lay down and like two foot it up to give her a better look. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> 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 but thanks. So, thanks. So you roll me 2d20 and take the highest and add your modifier. Very nice. As um, you get to investigating this door, you know, you get a, a feel for these handles. You even realize that there's a um, bit of a not, a, not like a push button action here, but it doesn't take much to pull or pull these things as they are pivoting and with a counterweight onto them. So you give them just the slightest pull and it's beginning to move. You can tell that it's not locked in your investigation. And uh, with that, this there's no telltale symbols straight away, you know, taking a few moments. They're almost like very weathered away or uh, not very faint. You know, they used to be more prominent, obviously, this, this old place. And it has a picture of a, of a bed that uh, because you guys are maybe a bit smaller, I almost imagine you like in your investigation looking and like, oh, like there, like dusting it off. And like there's a little bit of a, a bed in this direction. And you see uh, like a fork and knife crossing on this door as well. Mm -hmm. This is me. Hello? 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as she's pulling the door open. Is she opening the door or is she? This yeah, is just the I'm, investigation. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Are, you, are we going in? Oh, Jesus. I mean, maybe 50 years ago. Can't hurt to try. <laughs> well, I guess, I mean, I, I could eat. <laughs> <laughs> so, is anyhow, it just, uh, let's, let's, let's be, uh, be careful about this. The other door had uh, something in there. All right. Would you like to make stealth Maybe. rolls on your attempt? Well, that's what I was alluding to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how about the two of you make stealth rolls, and we'll jump over to Grom, who has taken it upon himself to go south. What did you get on your nice. perception? Did you choose investigation or perception? Uh, I rolled a perception. Uh, well, I have the choice. Oh, well, uh, I, I mentioned it, but I'll go with the perception. I mean, did you already actually, roll? <laughs> yeah, I already. I already okay, rolled. you use the right modifier. Just, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just a modifier difference. Okay. Uh, that would be a total of fifteen. Okay, with a fifteen, you put your uh, ear to the door, and you don't. You hear. You hear the crickets and the night sound that you heard coming to this place uh, a bit, you know, more easily than uh, than you have in these other spaces. Open the door. All right, you slide open this door. And before you, I will read a narrative that is in the book. The longest wall of this roughly trip, trapeze <laughs> trapezoidal room is pierced by a trio of loopholes, which are the uh, like arrow holes that uh, you would have witnessed coming up to this stronghold. Dry, rotted furnishings, a simple table surrounded by chairs, a bench, and barrels are spaced about the room, dusty and disused. Empty racks on the west wall once held weapons or other devices, and a pair of iron levers, one raised, the other lowered protrudes from the wall beside the room's door. A pair of metal shuttered loopholes pierces the door's face, allowing defenders to fire into the hall beyond. So the door you pass through would have had those metal shutters uh, being maybe a little more disguised on your approach. Um, perceiving nothing was in there, you went in and seen all of, all of this here. And I gotta move that because you can't see what I'm seeing. But there you are. Oh, there's barrels, and then there's a corpse, and then there's the three levers on the side. Yes, and and technically there's only two, but my asset had three levers, so. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that works. The third one's a trick lever. I go check. <laughs> I go check the corpse to see if there's anything on the corpse. So, oh, I hate to ask this question. Sorry, everybody. No, it's okay. Isn't there's light in here. <laughs> I have dark vision. 
Oh, okay. And I'll say like some <laughs> like, of the yeah, he's got dark vision as his uh, half orc, but he with a bit of a moonlight kind of shining through these uh, loopholes in the side of the, of this the space here. But you're right though, I have a bit of uh, I don't know. It's I'm a bit of resistant with a lot of darkness, uh, more or less adding difficulty than more than anything sometimes. But okay. but yeah, good question though. <laughs> I was just curious if I can see or not. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that it's been pretty pretty faint, but the more rooms you enter, <laughs> you're right. Like, the first room wasn't as big of an issue. I almost imagined the big door open and moonlight kind of coming in and stuff like okay. that. But you, but you are right. Thank you for, for reminding me that. Inspiration. Inspiration. <laughs> you get inspiration, my friend. I do? <laughs> you do. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Click. <laughs> Apparently, ask and you shall receive. <laughs> ah, it's his birthday. Uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it was literally your birthday, wasn't it, uh, Grom? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, yesterday. Happy birthday. <laughs> thank Happy you. birthday. Thank you, thank you. It was this Sunday, but yes, thank you very okay. much. <laughs> 35 years young. Oh, I wish. <laughs> So go ahead. Um, I'll allow you not even have to make a, a roll for for what's uh, in here on this body as you as you uh, you know look about it. And it, again, another very uh, skeletal dwarven body. This one carrying uh, an old long uh, old short bow and uh, with uh, you know chain mail all the same. Looks that, uh, but the the furnishings as it was disused and dusty. It, it was actually like damaged as if. Oh, giving it giving it to you that it looks like there was some sort of like scuffle in here or something went down in here to break this stuff it didn't just break it uh, from old age or anything so mm. so i guess in my my orc mind i'm just pretty much like eh. somebody had a fight ran out the damn door Ooh, wonder what's in these barrels <laughs> <laughs> Walk over to the barrels, check to see if there's any ale in them or anything. Sure, sure. Um, you know what? Give me a percentile. Oh, sure. And we're gonna give. Yeah, we're we gonna love use the, percentiles. Uh, yeah, here we're gonna use this <laughs> fake chart. Reality. We like to. Eighty-two. So 80, 82? Yes. As you go about these barrels, you almost like lift. I feel like you're strong enough to just like, kind of like empty, throw it, smash, empty, throw it, kind of smashes a bit, and unfortunately, you don't find any anything of. Uh, Want pop one open, pop one open, just like <laughs> licking <laughs> one, one fucking drop. <laughs> <Licking> <laughs> the inside. You you want you want one drop? I'll give you a drop. <laughs> as this but like it's sludgy, <laughs> yeah, as you're shaking it, and you're like ah, God, it's so a little bit desperate in your moment. It's like a bit of sludge just kind of rolls down and ooh, hits your face and drops into your mouth. Give me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> 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 Astro Tide says happy birthday as well. Yay, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so Constitution. Saving throw. Oh, Constitution save throw. That would be a total of 12. <laughs> Lucky ducky. <laughs> I set the DC at 12. I was like, I'll, be, I'll make it a bit lower. But yeah, you, you taste and it drops into your mouth and uh, oh, makes you go. Uh, what? gag a little bit but then like it's got this aftertaste that is kind of pleasant well, <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> probably, at that point you probably everybody down the hall probably going to be like oh god damn it <laughs> as we pan back over to the other side of this group here what were your stealth checks 19 total nice nice willow I've been sitting on this a while. I rolled a natural 20. Nice. Wow. Didn't you just get... You got two 20s uh, last couple of rolls. <laughs> Very nice. No, I don't so. think I... I don't think I did. Yeah, for the ram. You got double damage yeah. on the oh, ring of the ram that's there. That's right, that's right, that's right. So as you I can only uh, get a nat one if I roll it twice in a row, so... I mean, I'm pretty fucking stealthy on my uh, tensor's floating disc, right? Like, I float and I don't make any noise. Yeah. No, I love how the dice can reinforce stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> So as Broyden, you kind of open the door, and I'll say that uh, Willow's first to go through as she floats soundlessly into a cor another corridor here, uh, lengthwise. I don't think they put 
yeah, they didn't put a narrative to this one, but it's pretty straightforward in that what you see is what you're getting here. There's that door across the hall to your left. You can catch the telltale telltale edge of another stone stone door at the end of the hallway to your left and as well I'm going to reveal something but I, actually you know what I have to go down a level and make sure that you don't because I, I don't know why the levels are kind of mixing on me but okay no it's not showing up on your end okay good uh, it is on my end which is freaking why it's freaking me out but okay so <laughs> at the other end of the hallway. Yeah, see, it's showing some things, but it's not... I don't know why it's doing that to me. I'm just going to exit that. I don't want to give away the surprise downstairs. <laughs> 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 but I'm, I'm just using your light. I'm not assuming you walk this distance, but you catch another door at the far end of this corridor. Yeah, and I have light as a cantrip as well, so... Okay. Okay. I'll be casting that shit like crazy if I have to. Okay, you let me know when you don't want to. I pro I'm going to assume, yeah. like, with yeah, your stealth okay. checks, that it's not a thing. And that, like, when you know the coast is clear, I'll assume you probably turn it back on just to make things easier. But, um, but yeah, good to know. But, yeah, this is what you're left with, is this corridor. So, corridor, three doors. Corridor, three doors. Okay. Three corridors. So I, I, like, float the length down it as I come back. I don't see anything, but I'm going to call because I hear Grom coughing and hacking. Grom, you good? Just, ah, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I no think hell. You, I think you got a taste of something nasty. As Oker kind well, of joined. Well, there's nothing in. over here but doors. I pretty you much want me to use my ram? Aye, <laughs> lass. I, th I think you should hold off from ramming every single door around here. These are my ancestral... This is my ancestral home, after all. <laughs> all right. You don't have to listen to him. <laughs> no. There's probably lots of hiding spots in here, then. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it took me a second away. Wait, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Grom, what are you up to? Um, all I'm gonna do is pick up the chain shirt from the from the ground, and as I'm going through the next the <laughs> corridor I was in, pick up that chain shirt from that one. Grom's got an idea. When he gets back into town, he'll tell a blacksmith to knit these two together and make him so make him a shirt. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, definitely make notes of that sort of stuff because I feel like in between these modules, I'll give your characters downtime and shit like that can definitely happen. All right, uh, you grabbing the shirt? You grab that other shirt on the way through and join the rest of the party. Yep. As soon as he gets there, it's like, what was in there? No hell. No dwarven ale, god damn it. And I kinda give I give the dwarf a dirty look. Thought your people hoarded that shit. No. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm like looking and I'm looking. No, no. We don't hoard it, we drink it. We drink it all. As fast as it's made, it's gone. I'm not surprised that they're empty. Kinda sick. I, the way he does it, he's just kind of like, and he starts like getting real close to Iron Eyes over there, and like, <laughs> what? What are you doing? You. No, I, no, I don't. I, I don't. Uh, give me a insight check. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen plus insight. Yep. Sixteen total. Sixteen total. As you kind of like, you you got something. He's like, well, I might have a, I might have had a few drinks, but I don't have a, enough to share. I'll say that. Come on, give me a sip. <laughs> give me a persuasion check <laughs> at disadvantage. I, I'm not gonna persuade him. I'm using my intimidation. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. We'll do that at uh, disadvantage as well, then, please. That, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> he's he's a steely dwarf. He's not a He's no chicken shit. 
<laughs> he just failed that fucking roll and it That's just... fucking funny. <laughs> I, like I rolled it a to 15, him, no. 15 plus my intimidation is 4, so 19 total. 19 total. Oh, way. I'm going to give him a... Yeah, okay. He goes, Well, I suppose it's the least I can do since you've joined me on this venture. As you can tell that he's been intimidated into giving, <laughs> I'm giving. just, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> <laughs> he gives you the side eye fucking babblings <laughs> <laughs> and he passes you this uh, very nicely crafted uh, steel flask uh, to take a swig from just take it easy will you big boy I'll take a sip it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. give me your constitution save <laughs> <laughs> I want to capitalize oh, on the generosity. No. <laughs> you want to capitalize on the generosity? Okay, how do you role play that yeah. one? <laughs> um, you got any food in those pockets? And you're and you're referring to the past room back there? No, you, you. In my in by, <laughs> I, well, you, I, you gave him a drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I brought some provisions for us all, of course. I, I s- <laughs> suppose you can have some of this, and he takes he takes out a bit of a a bit of a hoagie. <laughs> bit of a hokey, <laughs> and he goes here, and it's wrapped in wax, and he's like wax paper or whatever. He's fine. Just fucking eat it all, drink it all now, will we? Those are uh, real nice boots you got there. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Well, Fuck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give him a slap on the back. <laughs> he gets half of the word, half the words out. He's ah, ah. He kind of like slaps Grom on the back. What did you get for a Constitution? Save. Total of ten. Total of ten as you <laughs> start coughing with the <laughs> from the from the swig. Who goes? You all, you sort are a are a <laughs> tough bunch, and you're bringing a you're bringing me a smile. I must say, you hard asses, and you kind of you all share this laugh in the hallway before you. Hear... <laughs> <laughs> you're really role playing that cough out there. <laughs> 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 And as you are all chuckling to each other, Willow, you're taking, you're starting to eat this sandwich, and you're you're coughing your lungs out there, Grom, and you hear this <laughs> as if something wooden, because uh, you hear the tink 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 tink, the shrapnel hit the ground, and you hear that hit this northern door here before you. And almost like I don't know if you'd all, I feel like Okar just kind of stops his billowing laughter. Oh, what the hell was that? We better get our wits about us here. Yeah, I'll put the cap back on, actually, very gingerly. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> How did that constitution play out? I, I, did oh, I yeah, actually, oh. yeah. Yeah, and they just made me cough. Well, as you like blast out this cough, and as he slapped you on the back, and and you catch your breath, you're dizzy. You're fucking, you're getting a couple uh, disadvantage. <laughs> rolls here for the near future. <laughs> You're drunk. Yeah, drunk. <laughs> Am I drunk? Am I drunk? Or just buzzed? Um, we'll call you poisoned for the next, like, five minutes in-game sort of thing, so you'll be at disadvantage on some rolls. Yeah. This is good shit. Oh. That. <laughs> you owe me a barrel of that when we're done. And I go to the door. <laughs> As you push your way past the other two and open this door... You're met with some narrative. Oh. 1-5 in the module says, <clears throat> This chamber was once a mess hall, but is now simply a mess. The long trestle tables and benches where the dwarves once dined are spread helter-skelter about the space, and many lie overturned. Broken crockery and flattened eating utensils are scattered about the floor. The wall here, the walls here gleam in the darkness as each bears numerous thin, twisting veins of shining gold. Your eyes are drawn away from the blazing gold, however, by a tremendous and sickening pale, grub-like thing that slithers amongst the furniture, its eyeless face sinuously waving in the dark. Let's all roll for initiative. <laughs> Total of seven. Uh oh. Nine plus three. Twelve total. Eighteen. All right. 
Uh, you said nine, Brighton? No, uh, plus three, 12 total. 12 total. Willow got a 19, sorry? 18. 18. I'm not listening. Grom. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Seven. Uh, Willow, roll me one more d20, please. Also, uh, I don't have any spell slots left, do I? Not nope. last time I checked. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Uh, one. A one. A one on the dice? Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. You use all your ones when he asks for them. <laughs> <laughs> You're also scared now. <laughs> so uh, I'll say that uh, Grom, you've pushed through, open this door, and I would be playing some combat music, but we've been muted from fucking Twitch once in a while. So, I mean, Arkin Forge has that, too. We could have fucking playlists for battle. But this ambience you're hearing is <laughs> heavy metal shit. You can upload your own stuff on Ark and Forge too. But uh, wait, hold out for that uh, code that we're gonna get and pass along to you, all so you can get a discount. Come back, yes. come back and see us. We'll we'll hook you up. So you've Imagine pushed drums. <laughs> you've pushed through the door, and you see past Grom's form. I'll give it to you that you know you, maybe you're by this, you know, kind of pushed through. You catch a glance of this messed up room, and you have dark vision too, don't you, as your gnome? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, you catch a glance of this this thing here from the... Oh, why isn't it showing up? Oh, that's why. Boop. As this thing is slithered around <laughs> the room. It's just at the edge of your dark vision, I'll say. I did have it originally there. I was going to bring it forward just to show you, but um, this large bipedal grub of sorts slithers about the room. It is your turn to act first, actually, Willow. Uh, shit. I take a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, uh, I am a wizard without magic, but I do have some nice crispy fries. I, I slowly take them out of my bag, and since I'm the first one here, and I'm kind of slow, you know, everyone's blocking the door behind me, I panic, uh, and I throw some fucking fried potatoes at it in the, like, beyond, I try to throw it past it, distract it so I can Okay. Get out of there. <laughs> you want to do any movement? You have a little bit of movement. Did you want to try and like get in, get out, sort of thing? Am I? Am I? Gr oh, Grom is the one that went through there. Yeah. Oh, it, he is. Yeah. Okay. Wherever you guys stand right now, it kind of line you up in these squares a little bit better for movement purposes. Right. But, well, I'm. I'm also gonna um, take out my whip, which is my weapon of choice. Whoops. Licorice whip. We don't all like licorice, all right. <laughs> Is it black licorice? I hate black licorice. Oh, it's disgusting. So gross. Um, I only like it in root beer. I say this with uh, my new pad on. What can I do as a wizard? Like, if I can't cast a spell. With your noob hat, I mean, you're kind of resorting to your weapons. Uh, the fry thing is is quite excellent. I don't, uh, I would give you maybe, I feel like that would be a full action-ish. I'm tempted to give I it to you as a bonus action. Yeah. And then you still have your, you know uh, yeah. your ring of ram. Yeah, That's you know, good. the fry thing, I like, I love it. So bonus action for that. Okay. Um, if you want to move a little bit, you'll be making a dexterity check. Uh, Probably athletics um, based, or eh, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna based. move, but I, I will insofar as what it requires for me to get in. Like uh, yeah, because you got yeah. 25 feet of movement. Distracted. Okay. Okay. So I'll say you move like, five, ten, fifteen. I mean, maybe? I don't want to face tank this thing. That would be foolish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you throw these fries. Give me a athletics check. Or you know what? Minus two. Or 19. a deck. I minus two. Minus two, 19. So I, I, should, I should correct myself in saying that 
a dexterity based check for throwing and ranged weapons it would be more appropriate so because I already said it and if it's better for you then you can keep it but if it's not you can you know use dexterity the the right one the right one (laughs) (laughs) I'm nice to noobs what do you mean (laughs) yeah you treated Uh, me pretty good back then yeah <laughs> oh, no, you could you could keep the first roll. You could keep okay. the first roll. Yeah. What was the total okay. with the new modifier? 17. 17? 17. Okay. Yeah. You take these fries and I'm just imagining okay. these soaked the soaked like wax paper or like like paper wrappings. You throw it and it kind of splashes the thing in its face <laughs> and it and totally distracts it big time as it like <laughs> And it leans over and goes down to its knees and starts just like <laughs> starts gobbling up these fries before yeah. you, which will give you an advantage on your attack roll on it should you choose to make one. Oh, but sure. you would have to get a little bit closer to uh, to do it. Um, get it with a whip. With the whip. With the whip. Yeah, because it's got reach, so you can get it within ten feet. Uh, well, what about my ring of the ram? Sixty feet on the ring yeah, of the ram. You're good on that. Yep. Yep, I'll, I'll <coughs> use one of my ram charges. Okay, that's um, still an attack roll with your spellcasting modifier, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nope, plus seven bonus for an attack roll. Boom, thank you, Brackish. Right. No problem. I got your back, brother. <laughs> so a 19 total. Ooh, big hit. As uh, And you rolled two dice, did you? Because you got advantage on one. it. Roll oh, it again. Yeah, go, go for that 20. Let's see it again Come three on, times. 20. Okay, so with uh, the night, so yeah, it's oh, still. Oh, so twenty-four. A dirty, dirty twenty-four total is pretty awesome. Dirty <laughs> this ring of the ram, you're like, what do you say when this ring of the ram like initiates? Do you say anything, or it just kind of happens? <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> sure enough, whammo, and the thing is like, huh? Is it like finished goblet? Like, and then this fucking huge ram, like fist with ram horns on it, I imagine, just poof, ripples, rippling its the fat on it and just fucking bruising this thing instantly as it smashes into it. Roll me the damage, please. Was there a modifier on the damage that you read? No. Um, 2d10 force damage, and it's pushed five feet. Okay. On a hit. Awesome. Awesome. I should have made you roll 4d10 for that that door, but sorry about that. Mm. It wasn't supposed to be that anyway. No? So no, nope, strength check with a plus five bonus for breaking rock oh. or whatever the door is made out of. Okay. Okay. I'll try to be faster next time. <laughs> yeah, just uh, being, do, do. being Captain Hindsight here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No, I'll uh, absorb it all the same. <laughs> I appreciate it because I had to. It's slowing us down. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Whammo. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get on your 2D10? Nine? Is that what I said? Eight. Eight total? Rewind the Twitch stream. <laughs> we'll give you nine. Start, Fuck it. <laughs> As nine damage goes through, boom, rippling across this the fat form of this grub, it has these veins all the same to it that the bruising like allows the the veins the fall apart in its form as well. Not unlike the stone ghosts, this thing seems to have uh, have something to do with the ore that's going around in this in this place as well. Um, you have a little bit of movement. Would you like to step back or sideways or forward? Go yeah. straight at it. Or stay in place. Don't matter to me. <laughs> um, what are these uh, dark blotches to the, the south Ah, Rubble looks like a behind. bunch of broken chairs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stand behind one of those. Chairs. Okay. So 15, 20, 25 feet of movement. Is that? 
okay with you, or would you like to go like down? Yeah, 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 behind. Okay. So are they going to be an obstruction for my next attack? Mm-hmm. You still have <laughs> movement. Your next attack. I can. Hear. Yeah, yeah. So for a rogue, you could you know hide behind it and stuff like that. I, I might give you some cover. I think there's a bit of a mound there. You're pretty small, but these are just broken chairs. Maybe the table would be more likely to give you some cover. So you do have sure, movement sure. to play with when you get there. If, if I could, please. Oh, totally, totally. <laughs> That's my intention, to seek some cover. Okay, so to end I this turn... One, one charge left in a way. Yeah, you're going to be running for the hills soon. <laughs> you call me a wussy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> As Willow finishes... Well, his prove day. us, prove otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> His voice changes. <laughs> Broyden, you are up next. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action first uh, because Grom's got me blocked there. You use him as cover and hide. Okay. So as a bonus action, rogue style. Ooh, with a 19. And what's my hide? I mean, I guess it's just stealth, right? Plus five, so 24. Okay, 24. And right. then I'll just take out my short bow and shoot him in the face. Write down a number. All right, short, short bow coming at you. Rolling something for the grub. You yeah, are... I'm just trying to get my uh, sneak attack in, obviously. Yep, you got it, because he does not notice you hide behind Grom. Uh, with a 13 plus 5 for my short bow. That is a hit. 3d6 coming your way. Six, five, and three. 11, 12, 13, 14 damage goes hopefully through. <laughs> Let's see here. And everybody's got magical weapons, don't they? Not not your bow? Bow's not my bow. Okay. I mean, my, not my arrows or anything either. Oh, no, you're good. So... As this, because it's, it's piercing damage, you see this arrow come out by, from between Grom's legs, all the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> penetrating right in the bruise, just spreading open the soft-ish tissue to this to this grub. Uh, yeah, all the damage has gone through by the looks yeah. of it. <laughs> but I just put my hand up, whammo! I said the same thing again. And then, so I've used what five feet of movement there. Yes. Um, I'm just going to step back out of the door. All right. You step backwards and enter the hallway once again with Okar Iron Eyes to the bottom right of you. It is now Grom's turn. You're a big fellow. You're muted, <laughs> sir. <laughs> No, oh, first time this stream. That's uh, everybody drinks. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I am going to <clears throat> just ready my mace and charge it. So I'll take a swing right at it. All right. Pulling out your mace. 5, 10, 15, 20 feet to get up to it. This large creature... Take me, give me a swing. Ooh. Single attack roll, please. 17 plus 7 is 24. That is a hit. Okay, so it's 2d6 damage. Okay, so that's 7 plus... 12. 12 damage. 12 damage. That was with your magical mace. Yes. Okay. Sorry, 17? Sorry, I just totally slipped my mind the way you just said for damage. <laughs> you just said it. No, no, 12 damage. 12 damage, 12 damage. Yes. I must have read 17 somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With a single hit of your mace, this thing just <laughs> shakes before you. It's big, like, weird yellow buck teeth just... <laughs> you can see, like, rocks and shit like that have 
kind of pouring out of its gullet as it does. The pieces of the fries that Willow has fed it and all sorts of shit just kind of coming out of its mouth as you wash it, uh, wash it. You smack it so hard in the gut that it just blah, 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 blah. little bits of spittle also are forming around its mouth. Oh, man, I knocked its lunch out of its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> uh, any more movement you want to use or a bonus action? Bonus action, can I attack again or? Negative. Negative. Um, let me see here. Mm. And no, but I am going to ready myself for an attack. You know, if he, if he takes a swing at me, I'm just going to get myself ready. Okay. Well, mechanically, you would have to. Have, uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean. Okay, that's you... all I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I'm just. Narr- narratively, you're getting ready. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. It is this giant grub's turn. As... All right. Let's see what it does to grub. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here it comes. I think I hope. As this thing takes its ugly maw and tries to bite you with it, reaching out. Ooh, is 17 on the die? 25 total to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. That is a hit. Okay. I got an AC of 14, so. Holy <laughs> shit. Plus eight. Ooh, good plus, to plus seven. Plus seven to hit. So. With oh. eight total piercing damage coming through. As it <laughs> chomps onto you. The acidic nature of its mouth. Mm. No, this is a different attack. Okay, so. After biting you, it releases and <laughs> spits <laughs> at, the, at your fucking chest. A natural 20. Oh, no shits no. given. <laughs> no shits given here, oh, friends. Oh, damn. For a total 24 to hit. Um, okay. D4. I guess it's 2d4 for me, meow. Oh, a four and a three, seven, eight, nine total, nine total acid damage. And the target must succeed a DC 12 dexterity save. You'll be ever for, forever changed after this attack. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Are you armored as a barbarian or did you choose to like wear armor at the moment? You're, no, I'm not wearing unarmed. anything. Okay. Uh, so, Anything at all? <laughs> just a loincloth. Just a loincloth, and a this and a, a wolf a wolf hat. <laughs> this is a horny little 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 gnome. <laughs> <laughs> so my safe safe throw for for what Dex? A dexterity saving throw. Yes, with a difficulty it's challenge a, of a total, total of eight. So you fail the save. Yes. Hmm. Not wearing any armor though. So this narr- I guess. Mechanically, it's not really going to do anything because I did say it aimed for your chest. Otherwise, you know, there'd be other things here happening. But with that, I will just give you the nine damage, the nine acid damage specifically. And you feel like, I feel like your skin's like heavily weathered. It's thick as itself. And you can feel it just, the damage just burrowing into your skin. Okay, so that was a total of two attacks, right? That was two yeah. attacks, yep. Okay. And with that... Guessing it says it attacks twice. <laughs> <laughs> it is a large monstrosity. <laughs> As this thing finishes its spit on you, it holds its ground, and you can see it kind of, like, being a little amorphous, where, it, like, its size, could, like, fluctuates, and when you hit it, it, like, moved, like, quite a bit like jelly it's got this weird i don't know size changing thing to it you can see it's rather pliable i guess is the word that ends its turn it is okar's turn iron cries get in there he's hurt (laughs) i'll help you see the might in me 5 10 (laughs) 15 20 25 as he moves forward (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and fires with his light crossbow. Broiden, give me a d20, please. Come on. Add plus four to this attack. 
Uh, 12, so 16. 16 total is a hit. Roll a D. <laughs> roll a D8 plus two. Oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> one plus two. Three, three total. Okay, he only has the one attack. And yeah, he ain't got much EMPC. So as he <laughs> strides, past, strides past you, um, sending this to you, he fires <laughs> the bolt, <laughs> lands into the side of this grub, uh, just whizzing past Grom here in this attack planting itself into the body. Not a lot of uh, reaction out of this thing. And he goes, sorry, he curses. And what did I do? 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, he did all his movement. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Okar. That's Okar for you. <laughs> 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 We're back up to the top of round two. Willow, you've had some time to think about your next move. What would you like to do? You do. I've already thrown the rest of my snack at it. <laughs> You're totally regretting that? <laughs> <laughs> I just like that you had a snack and you still took Buddy's hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> Get it where you can. <laughs> Good point. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I guess I will use my ring. I can't all right. Move. All right, all right. Um, did you, would you like to move or do anything beforehand? You can still do it afterwards. You don't, I'm just throwing it out there just to give you the options you have. <laughs> um, will my current location impede my attack roll or anything? It will not. Okay, then no. All right. As another charge of this ram, ring of the ram, boils up to the surface. What do you say? <laughs> Whammo! <laughs> With the two. <laughs> With the two on the dice? Plus seven. Plus seven? Uh, nine. Nine is not enough as this. Two. So give me give me the damage all the same, though. Okay. Damn. <laughs> 17. 17, uh, that's a 2d10. Nice. That would have been awesome for damage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks. So as you miss the attack, the ring of the ram, the magic still pushes forward through the room, knocking multiple pieces of furniture in its, in its wake. <laughs> I love how you did that. It's awesome. Just smashing more furniture as it goes. One that of the, is uh, one of the key points of Arkenforge. It's, it's very, very movement. flexible. <laughs> Not One of the world. chairs woof, 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 smashes <laughs> into this thing. Give me some improvised weapon damage. Ah, we'll call it a D8. Why not? Okay, shit. It's very fair of you. <laughs> <laughs> one. A one? Okay. There's that dice reflecting the happenings <laughs> in a way as this chair the skin of this thing ripples once more as it kind of looks looks at you with its wide red eyes this foaming at the mouth action any response to that to that look uh, I further behind the table <laughs> you want to use a little bit of movement to come this way okay mm -hmm. Now I'll say that you do have, um, we'll call it, we'll call it half cover. Okay. And you, when you hit it, you can actually. Ooh. Thank you for the follow. We knew you were cool. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Nice, nice. Was that early safe? Was that what that said? Earliest, earliest safe. Earliest safe. Thank you, thank earliest. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> As you almost use some of your weight you float into it almost like i don't know i feel like i'm, get, I'm not going to make you bumbling on top of uh hefty so <laughs> you use some of your weight <laughs> to like you hear that tilt like that same sound effect of the wood scraping on the on the stone as you move into position hiding behind this table all right brighton you're up i'm just going to uh run in and i'll drop my bow as i passed iron <laughs> iron 
and uh, pull out my rapier because I don't want to use an action to do that. So I'm just throwing my bow down. Okay, so and you're in the hallway, yeah. and you're you're sorry, you're moving to use your rapier. Yeah. And you're dashing as a bonus action to get there? or can I you... don't want to dash as a bonus action, but I can move through other creatures. Oh, okay. So you're as long five, as they're 10, one size bigger 15, than me. 20, 25. Okay. Okay. So you did get that 25. Awesome. Nice. And you're occupying the same space. So I'm going to mm, I feel like disadvantage in the space, even though you can be and hide and stuff, to actively be in this person's space. Okay. I feel like giving a disadvantage to either of you being that any given movement That's could affect the others. That's fucking dangerous. But I do have a plus nine. Mm, gambling. Fuck it, I'll go for it. Gambler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I had a nat 20, too, ah. but I have a nine on the die. Plus nine is 18. Oh, very nice. Uh, plus two is still... Oh, no, sorry. Plus nine already includes money. So 19 total. Yep, that's a hit. As you feel Grom, this this halfling brush against your leg once again, caressing your butt as he does. So he thrusts his rapier into the blubber of this grub. Uh, with a five <laughs> on my D8, plus six, 11, plus three, plus four, uh, 18. Oh, are you, plus... are you adding sneak attack on that? Because you don't have that. Yeah. Yeah, I do. He's within oh, five feet. But hmm, hmm. I don't know. That's where so it gets as sticky. long as another creature is within five feet of the enemy, I get it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's nope. not. It's no, not you're right. I hit. You're right. The wording is there. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I'm just like ah, but you're oh. okay. No, I get it. I like it actually because you've been hiding underneath this fucker too constantly. So no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What was the total? Uh, so five plus six is eleven. Uh, plus seven is eighteen. Uh, 18 uh, plus two for my extra for my rapier is twenty damage. Okay. Twenty damage. This rogue living his best life as he charges forward, occupying the space of his companion and still getting sneak attack damage. <laughs> <laughs> And because of my rapier, I can use a bonus action to attack again with, again, disadvantage. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I didn't like seeing that 20 go away. Ooh, this time with a 10. Oh, it's still plus 9. Yeah. You're uh, and an 18 on the other die, so. Okay. Yeah, uh, another, another hit. to hit. All right. Uh, with a 6 on the die this time, plus 6 is 12. Plus two is 14, plus seven is 21 more damage. I feel like something's broken at the moment. <laughs> Come on, chat. Prove them wrong. <laughs> Go ahead. Save me. <laughs> I got both Dungeon Master and the, and the core book open. I'm ready to no, rock. I don't, I don't need to argue no points. <laughs> have, your, have your fun. <laughs> I'll I'll spell my inspiration for another attack. If you <laughs> oh yeah, I fuck. Man, I can't give you anything. You better give me some good shit come Thursday on the Witchlight fucking stream, man. <laughs> awesome, awesome turn as you yeah bonus action throw in that other rapier and it's just like poke poke and you're poking at the legs of this thing and it tears open a bit of its skin and out pours this like very fatty stinky goo that like sloughs and like hits the soles of your shoes as you, as you have to kind of like just slightly step back to keep it from getting on you it just reeks it is grom's turn well as as i'm seeing my compatriot actually come up and actually stab something even though i'm grimacing right now from all this pain i'm just like I start to smile. Finally, a wolf pack, and I actually put put the the hood on, which which active which I'm activating with my my uh, primal path of uh, totem warrior. Oh, okay, okay, uh, and uh, that's uh, the wolf totem, and uh, at, in the sense is I'm starting to rage also at the same time. Okay, so uh, which activates? Well, yeah, let me say I active it activates my rage, and. Uh, while I'm raging, my friends have uh, advantage on any melee attacks on any creature that's within five feet of me. 
Jeez, because they needed that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I didn't know any of my partners would actually come up and, you know. Oh, man. <laughs> so as you rage, how does that look? Um, well, not as mighty oh. as before because I'm not uh, fro- I'm damn I'm bleeding at the chest most likely, and I'm just frothing at the mouth. Eyes are just like pulsating with red rage, you know, just like and then just go at him, and yeah, you'll hear the the a wolf a wolf howl in the background, and just like ah as I strike at nice. this creature. Nice, nice, just a wolf howl from just some yeah. distant place in the in the space. That's cool. Yeah, with move that. around and hit him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> as you as you bonus action rage initiating this, does it give you advantage or well as well, or just your allies? Uh, no, just uh, just my allies. It's it's pretty much uh, since I'm the meat shield. Yep. Everybody else gets a you know. It's an aura. Uh, or ed- yeah, yeah. It basically gives them advantages. Not, not really me. Sweet, sweet. Uh, did you want to do any movement in this moment? Um, okay, moving around to its back would that give it advantage attacks on me? I don't. Uh, no, it wouldn't change nope. anything for you, but you would put yourself in a flanking position, which is an optional rule, but we, we like to use it, which gives you advantage. Uh, then, yeah, I'll flank the hell out of this thing. 10, 15, 20, 25 to get relatively opposite of the uh, of your this companion here. Sluggo monster. <laughs> Sluggo. Hey, I'm Sluggo. Yeah. <laughs> so, so wielding your mace uh, while wielding my mace I'm basically going to thematically run up and just like power slam this thing as much as I can with the, with, with this uh, with this maul just right on top of its noggin just like Roar, you know trying to splatter its brains out of its head okay awesome roll me an attack I don't, I don't know if it's going to work but <laughs> I'll try I Fucking have job it. of the hood <laughs> 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 We saw me say Wookie Waka Waka. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay and that's twenty. <laughs> oh, how many is that today? Oh, yeah. How many is that today? <laughs> that's got to be our fourth or fifth fifth one. I feel like it's... I got one. That's my I first think... one for today. Yeah. So I'm all right. We got that. two. So there's four for sure. Yeah. Good stuff, team. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, so it's a net 20. So do I add my uh, strength modifier to it? Um, yeah, I mean, you would still add your attack bonus. Technically attack bonus. On, okay, uh, so that's 27 for the attack. Very nice. And in, on, on attack rolls, it's an automatic hit. Um, if you got a natural 20 on an ability or saving throw, technically not, a, like, you know, rules is written, not a go-to. But I, I like to celebrate the 20s. So, you know, depending on the situation, if I'm feeling desperate, then no. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. No, and, I'm just teasing. Uh, and the attack is what double damage, or how does that work? Yep, you have double damage on your maul. Okay, so mace, it's time to times two, whatever I roll. Yep. All right, or you can roll twice. So that's another thing too. Uh, you can either double the damage or roll it twice. We like to roll it twice, right, Brackish? That's what we like to do, don't we? Yeah, we like to. <laughs> so, it quite often <laughs> fucks me over though. <laughs> But so yeah, Mr. I, I Mr. like Mr. Hackle, yeah. are you good at math? Yeah. Hey, I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> 19 plus 19? Well, you got 38. 38 go. damage, so yeah, there we go. Wow. That's what I rolled. <laughs> That's massive. <laughs> you got 19 <laughs> damage on, because you got, what? what is the, is it a d12 for your, yeah, because you were 2d10. No, it's, it's, two, it's 2d6 plus 7. Oh, okay, okay. Because, nice. because I'm raging. Because uh, the rage gives you a plus two damage on the... Uh, yes, you're right. Plus, okay, because you had, like, your strength modifier plus the... That's, I don't know, it's just massive. Massive! Okay. As this huge half-orc retreats from your... Not retreats, moves away from Broiden, uh, he, you get a bit of a click, or a clip from his massive leg as it pushes past you. He still, with mace in hand, runs around this giant greasy grub that has been messing up this space for however long for whatever reason it was already heavily bloodied spewing from puncture wounds and a chair to the face 
You reel back and right on the top of its head, crushing its head down into its body. And then it pulls, you pull the mace away, splitting it down the middle. It like, just like a yolk in the middle of a brain here with this gleaming pieces of gold and ore within it collapses into a mound to the floor and it is dead. Ow. Just like, uh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm still raging. <laughs> is that gold? <laughs> I'm just right away. That looks like gold. <laughs> is that gold? <laughs> this thing fucking stinks. Doesn't it stink? <laughs> it does stink. Hey, hey. <laughs> Did you guys know this thing was fucking full of gold? We're gonna fight more of these. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just, I pull away and I'm still like red eyed and frothing at the mouth, and I'm like beating at its dead corpse as it's dissolving, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, yeah. oh and it's, fucking die, die, die. And it's good to know for you when you're raging that if you don't, uh, I think, I think if, it, if you don't get hit or if you don't attack something or whatever in your rage, you would lose that rage next round as well, to keep in mind. Yeah, and it's, it's hit or be hit, I believe. So. Right. Mm-hmm. Even on just a bunch of fails, failures, you can lose it. Yeah, yeah. But in in this narrative here, just that you're just fucking beating this thing to a pulp, and eventually <laughs> you're, uh, 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 you're just beginning to calm down. <laughs> like, hey, hey, there, big fella. It's uh, it's okay. I'm just gonna uh, take I... a walk back. I <laughs> left left my bow. <laughs> as he as he as he talks to me, I kind of give him like the deaf eye, you know, just kind of like. Argh. Just ripping chunks out of his. I drop my ball and just ripping chunks out of his pieces. And as you stand above it in victory, Willow uh, maybe pokes your pokes her head out from behind the table in this moment. <laughs> Is it dead? <laughs> I see him beating this thing to a pulp. It's dead. <laughs> After a few minutes, I'll probably calm down. But it's just like, it's like, ah. Yeah, it's dead. As I, like, whip my rapier to fucking get all the excrement off of it against the wall and put it away and pick up my bow. Right. Retrieving your bow, this massive blob lives at the, at the floor of this dining chamber. And, yeah, the stink permeates the air. Okar, Iron Eyes, his, you know, you pass him, he's walking up to this thing. Oi, oi, this is, dare I say, stranger than the stone ghosts themselves. What what monstrosity lays before us? Seems to be full of, and he reaches down so boldly as to grab a piece of ore. This belongs to the mountain, belongs to our clan. What is this monstrosity doing in its guts, in its very head his gullet ugh. and he like finally like his constitution fails him he's like ugh. and he like <laughs> drops a, a fucking pile of vomit next to it ugh. well surprise surprise <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> and he like gathers himself and, oh, I'm sorry friends it seems that we have more to deal with here than just ghosts this is this clan you speak of, were they called the uh, silly nannies? <laughs> I've heard about enough of you, Rogue. <laughs> if you weren't so goddamn good at what you do, I'd challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down there. <laughs> and he goes, ah, not wanting to. I argue. don't know about uh, that gold of that thing's head. Looked and uh, do I know anything about this creature by chance? Well, how about you make me a um, uh, maybe a nature nature check would probably work. Nature is that a plus or a minus? Sorry, <laughs> these tiny computer screens. <laughs> uh, plus two. <laughs> these tiny computer screens. Uh, fourteen. A fourteen. By what you're <laughs> witnessing here of it, and I mean. He's doing this, you know, what's Willow? What's, uh, I, I feel like Grom, you, know, you say he's taking a few minutes. Willow, you have a chance to kind of add to this conversation if you wish. Um, I feel like I'm just observing okay. for the moment. Okay. 
safe to say you're kind of joining, or are you kind of grossed out and you're staying back? Oh, the... no, 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 sorry. Yeah, no, um, I'd like to come come, come out and investigate uh, the ore that's, or whatever the hell is, is inside this okay. beast's belly. As uh, Willow floats up beside you, you're gauging this, the nature of this uh, monstrosity here, and from what you can tell, you don't really, you've never seen anything like this before at all, but from what you've witnessed, it looks like this thing that could possibly change shape enough. You look about the room even in, in this thought of yours and you see like maybe a one foot tall by like four foot or four inch wide crack in the wall. Other than the door, you don't really know how it got in here, but you do see like the slime trail that would have came out of this hole with it. So you're piecing together that this thing is able to shrink itself down or squeeze itself through maybe from below, from the depths it came up here. And from the contents of its mouth, deducing that like that's what it eats. Like it's eating all sorts of different shit, specifically things of uh, ore and precious stone and stuff. So you don't You know said the ore was its brain? I kind of described it as that, but I'm almost imagining the, the massive blow blowing through its head now oh, okay. and it's like in its mouth and it's like contents of its uh, mouth and shit so so you don't you've never witnessed anything like it but you're deducing some pieces to it from this check well we can't let the aura go to waste right <laughs> as I take my rapier just <laughs> drag it stem to sternum kind of style okay, and see a, what pours out of it. Roll me a constitution <laughs> save with disadvantage oh. as you do. <laughs> disadvantage? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Everybody do it. Everybody does it. Disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Including Okar. Oh, I've got one jank to die. Oh, it's even worse. Uh, so three constitution. <laughs> what did Willow get? Ten total, okay. And Grom? Fifteen. Fifteen. So, Grom, you're holding yourself together. Okar, Willow, and especially Broiden have, <laughs> have once again begun to spill their guts as you rip this thing open. You get about three quarters of the way, and the rest of its skin, uh, so weak in its nature, just, like, finishes splitting, and it just, like... Some gutted whale just washes across your feet. And if you weren't floating in the air, uh, Willow, it would get you too. But thankfully, it doesn't <laughs> actually get you. But the stink is enough that you're just like, <laughs> all of you are like, you know that scene in Stand By Me when they all start puking on each other and then shit like that? It's like that in the moment. Short of Grom where he's just like, <laughs> holding it together. And I feel like that's a good place to end the stream. <laughs> We've got it for this guy fucking hacking and coughing May over I? a little bit of spittle, and he doesn't even <laughs> gag at the sight of this. Wow! And I'll say like May this. I take one action, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. let you. I'll, I'll give you guys one one go around to finish it off, but just that that kind of fifteen minute warning, I would say. So yeah. Uh, so now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm assuming my rage is already worn off. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm seeing them kind of like, uh, they're kind of like, uh, from all the gore. And I've, I've been overhearing Broiden like is really wanting the gold or whatever, whatever it's been eating. So I just kind of reach in there and just kind of like chuck it to the side. And uh, I'm going to, after that, I'm just going to go sit down on one of those chairs prop it up or whatever if it's fallen over and pop out that healing potion and drink it. Okay. I believe that's 2d4 plus plus 4 or plus 2. Can you look that up for me, please, Braggish? Yeah. When you're, you're saying you were kind of tossing us, tossing aside some of this ore um, to answer your question there, Broiden, as you split this open, see what comes out. Um... Willow, roll me a d, roll me a d, twenty, roll me a d twenty. Two d four plus two hit points. Ah, there you go. Ooh. Two. So total. Two. Uh, you see. Eight, eight health. Eight health. I'll back up on uh, Grom. Very nice. Very nice. I'm back to eighteen hit points. Uh, what, what's your total? 
35. Okay. okay. <laughs> I see him sitting in that chair, and I pull out my healing <coughs> potion and chuck it over to him. Really? Thank you. <laughs> Drink that one, too. <laughs> I'll say, Willow, you catch the sight as a... Uh, Grom kind of like sloughed through some of this shit, throwing it to the side, and he's now he's drinking these potions that Broiden is interacting with him. And you and Okar goes as he's cleaning his mouth off, and you're done puking. You, you spot a couple gems inside of the pile, and Okar is brave enough to you kind of point it out to him. I'm assuming, and he kind of like grabs them, and he's like, "Here, you've all <coughs> earned this." As he sloughs off the shit, and he like throws these two gems to you, Willow. And I'll say these gems are both worth 10 gold pieces each. And there's a, a red and a green one. Ruby and an emerald, we'll call them. Some treasure game. In, in, in the folds of my blubber. Yeah. <laughs> Broyden is going to have a tough time finding those. <laughs> good call, Willow, good call. Mm. When you got a rogue in the group, you got to make them work for it. <laughs> Don't to, to make me have to gut a fish for my take. I've already gutted one today. <laughs> no, that's brilliant. So as Grom has taken a couple H, uh, hip uh, health potions, are you you took the second one as well to try and? Yes, I did. Okay. And I, I got nine HP out of that one. Okay. Um, so I'm up to 27 health. Excellent. And then uh, Lolly, did you, uh, Willow, did, did she have any other... Um, Finishing thoughts or actions? Feeling good about the day? Good about the uh, good about yes. the past uh, hour or so in game? And Broyden, Absolutely. how are you feeling? I'm just as I walk uh, back over to the door. Well, this is a great place, probably. I know it stinks, but taking a rest here with this beast in here, it's not like. Anybody else would try to come in as I start sliding that table over to block that door. Okay. Taking this table, this table. You manage Just to kind of reinforcing the door. Yeah. Takes a minute. Okar refuses to help. <laughs> <laughs> Watching your halfling form, you kind of... Uh, uh. You really, I'd really struggle with it, I think. Yeah. What's my strength? <laughs> After a moment, I'd get up and help him. Yeah, no, no helping Broyden. It's like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> no help Broyden. Okay. What? I helped you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I was just kidding. I was just telling him, no, no helping Broyden. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, says that. <laughs> no, no, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> so as you uh, put a door, uh, sorry, a, a table up against the door here to barricade yourselves into the space. Um, yeah, you haven't explored this space entirely. Uh, I will kind of shed some light on this. There's a curtain in the corner here. Just to let you know, you would have, you know, seen it for sure. There's no way you wouldn't have without, you know, not having to do a roll, whatever. And yeah, you're left in this stinky room um, under a promise of a short rest. And mm -hmm. if there's nothing else, we'll end it there. Okar uh, would reinforce, being like, this has been an interesting trip so far. I can't express how grateful I am to have you. As much of a pain in the ass as some of you have been. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're on track with something here. If we can cleanse this place, we can definitely make uh, riches for ourselves. I look forward to this. And you had me at riches. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll fade away. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we'll do... Um, how did you like it? Do you want to take a quick little break and come back for a talk about it? Or you just want to get her doing now? Because we like to talk about the session a little bit as we play through. But. I would need approximately seven minutes if we do a break. So. <laughs> <laughs> approximately? Well, I don't, I don't mind going for seven minutes and coming back if you guys are down. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Bye. We'll be sure. back in Go approximately. Stretch the lights. Yeah, approximately seven minutes, and we'll come and uh, talk about some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. We super appreciate it. Don't go anywhere because we're gonna have some more jokes, some more talks. Bye. <laughs> be right back.
We are back with another successful little session. I hope everybody enjoyed what they saw, especially the especially the maps by Arkin Forge. Those are my personal favorite. <laughs> and if if, you, if I just want to say before we get going into our session, talk about that. If if you did indeed like what you saw with the with the maps, they got all sorts of assets and shit. It's a really cool program. I've been using it for years, and we finally have the opportunity to pass on our love of that of that program to to you viewers and everything. So we have a we will be getting a code that you can put in at checkout. Um, it's not activated just yet, but very, very soon here, within days, we'll have this uh, this code for you to pass on and put that in there and a little bit of savings so you can get it in there and check it out yourself. It's not crazy expensive to begin with, so fuck, you'll enjoy it. I, I know you will, but I just want to... We are going to do a little stream where Haplo shows Brackish how to use it. Yes. <laughs> that should be entertaining in and of itself for sure. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it'll be like, no, dude, no, uh, no share your screen. Just share the screen. No. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it without looking at each other's screens. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah, I like that motto. <laughs> That's awesome. Really looking Ooh. forward to that. So, come check us out soon for something like that as well. But anyways, um, D and D. Glimmer Doom, uh, what is this fucking called? Glitter Doom. Glitter Doom. Glitter, glimmer Doom. <laughs> it's a spin. Glitter Doom by Goodman Games. How are you guys liking it so far? Well, I'm liking it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Have you uh, have any inklings, any theories as to what's been going on in this space, in this place? No, I believe almost... it's a dungeon crawl. That's what I believe. It is. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm almost picturing uh, Hobbit, like the the jewel of the mountain. Like they found something that turned them all. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's why when I thought you saw it in the brain, I was going to be like, don't fucking touch that gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a little mystery behind it. Okar has already spoken to it, and it's slowly being piecing some of these things together. What actually happened here? There's some... Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't fucking trust that guy very much either. No, is that is that like kind of a consistent thing for you? There's the NPCs are like, I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I liked one. I liked one. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Jaco, Jaco, Jaco Beam. Yeah. He's the only NPC I've ever really gotten along with. So. Yeah. Jaco Beam, the uh, albino paladin. <laughs> yeah, with the original brackish, and they didn't like each other at first either. It took a little oh, bit. Yeah, that's right, because he was all. He didn't his like his righteous and... attitude, but he ended up being so uplifting <laughs> that it actually rubbed off on Brackish a bit. Nice, so. nice. Well, in this session, I fucking all the d20s being thrown around. I love seeing that, but my my, I want to say my favorite uh, move. I will say is one of the more creative ones is the the fries. Really using something like you don't have any magic. <laughs> I gotta get up and close and personal. What else do I got? Oh yes, plenty of Absolutely. food and whatnot. So yeah, here's some fries and then whammo! <laughs> Should have delivered you like it. McDonald's. This is better. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fucking eat those fries. I'll re reward that sort of creativity all day long. So awesome. Really like that. <laughs> oh. What? Uh, what's your favorite part there, Loli? Um, I definitely liked fighting the Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> you like that token? And absolutely, and I'm making a mental note of myself to investigate uh, where, from whence his trail of slime comes from. Okay. Uh, because you said he, it looked like he he was able to squoze. Squoze through. Yeah, yeah. Squoze, <laughs> squoze through. That's a word of the day. Oh, you hit the word of the day. I didn't think anyone would get it. Squoze. He squoze through a small crack. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like, if you know, he was, and you said he was eating all the detritus along the way. Yeah. There must be more gems. Uh, yeah. Behind whichever crack he came from. Yeah. I love when players go off map. It's awesome. It's sweet. Absolutely. <laughs> just remind I'm, me of that next. Oh, do you no, know? I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. I'm I'm down for improvising <laughs> shit all day long. No, you do what you yeah, want to do. Yeah, I just I remember this the the crack description being like pretty small, and that mm -hmm. the door was closed, and he was able to s probably squeeze through, mm -hmm. but he didn't allude too much. Yeah. Well, she already smashed a few stone things around, so <laughs> it's uh, not impossible. And I, I I'll reward or punish the 
the uh, exploration. <laughs> either way, it'll be exciting. Yeah, either way, it'll be hell of a good time. <laughs> how about you, uh, Bandito? What was your favorite part? Short of smashing the bad guy with the final blow. Actually, <laughs> my favorite part is when we're all actually bonding in the hallway right before the monster just <laughs> yeah. wrecked the mood. Just wrecked it. <laughs> that was a good moment. <laughs> just you got really nice boots. Uh, just come on! <laughs> <laughs> just rob the guy blind <laughs> i i like that you i i feel like i was the only one that picked up on it too that when you threw the snack i was like you had food the whole time and you still <laughs> took a sandwich <laughs> yes and yeah you're right i didn't even think twice about <laughs> Fucking hamburgers and fries and shit. <laughs> I'm just going to warm up the old air well, fryer. <laughs> honestly, like, it was my turn next. And if that thing didn't die, I was like, okay, I'm a wizard. I'm out of magic. I've got the shitty little whip with minus two strength. Um, I had a bag of sand. And I was like, okay, I grew up on a farm. And what I know about slugs, and this thing is a giant slug, is that they don't like salt. So I was going to, like... I have plenty of salt on my person, obviously. Because <laughs> yeah. you know heart disease. I was going <laughs> to fucking like mix some salt into my bag of sand and like whammo it onto that fucking slug. Nice, nice. Have... See, I would have I would have given Drive you up. something for that, for sure. That, uh, <laughs> not unrewarded, no doubt. Very cool. <laughs> well, short of this, I mean, we got Brackish's Wild Beyond the Witchlight on Thursday. Looking forward to that because we were doing some level ups last week and uh, a little bit of talk about character building on the side and stuff like that. But um, short of that, we were talking about video games. And I know, Lolly, you were talking about the pirate game. What the fuck is it called? Th sea of Thieves. Thieves. How do you, how you like that uh, game, eh? Oh, my God. <laughs> I am in love with that game. Yeah. Um, it's quite simple. Like you just fucking pirate around doing pirate things but it is so fun if you get a crew together and i would love to do a few streams with y'all like oh, it's so fun because every single game session is a fucking movie you know like crazy shit happens and it's always unique like that is a really great game yeah i, I've, I have never even like i've seen it like it was super popular there for a while and i never jumped on board there but uh what what's the gameplay like? It's first person, third person to each character, or is it like a? It's first person, um, and basically the world is like a predetermined map. You uh, spawn on an island, and you're a pirate, and you basically pick up. Like, well, you can do anything. You can do whatever you want, but um, the game provides you with different quests. Um, there's factions. That's a big thing. Um, there's like sort of like the East India Trading Company type faction and uh, there's kind of this like mystic sort of faction and basically uh, the faction rewards only reward you with um, aesthetic things like okay so you can really has... deck out your character and yeah you can deck out your character you can deck out your ship like you can change um, you know like the, the the sails and the look of your ship the hull um, the cannons and everything. Um, you can pick your outfit. You can get pets and stuff, like pirates, and you yeah. know, get different outfits. But it's all aesthetics, so no one really has an upper hand against anybody else. Oh, okay, um, so you... there's no gear upgrades. The only upgrades in the game are aesthetics. Hmm. And uh, that yeah, so it really evens game... the playing field across everybody Absolutely. playing. Absolutely, oh, okay. which is why every game is like a brand new session. Um, you go out and you get your treasure and you can be raided by other pirates and uh, <laughs> lose all your shit. So, like pirate battles, <laughs> sea monsters. I'm assuming it's you awesome. can like customize your flag and shit too, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. and be mm -hmm. your own little thing. So what, yeah. what would we call our troop then? We'll have to think about that once if we're going to dive into this game on a stream sometime. <laughs> Put your Absolutely. thinking caps on. Maybe the, maybe the chat has some, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> some recommendations, dare we ask. But uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, sounds pretty yeah. fun. If you guys are down, I'm down. I call quartermaster. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I also call quartermaster. <laughs> so well, we have, have two quartermasters <laughs> and, and one singlet. Like, 
<laughs> this game requires a lot of coordination. Like, we need someone to be a captain. We need someone to man the cannons oh. and batten down the hatches. Like, oh, a, I'll swap I, the poop uh, deck. I do that pretty good. <laughs> and plant yeah. trees and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good for that. I'm good for that. <laughs> You're going to be the cabin boy. <laughs> No, that, Kevin boy. <laughs> that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, no, I definitely look forward to that in the future. But uh, I don't know. What, what, uh, yeah, I mean, I know Brax just got a bit of a hockey game. I don't know if it's over. Is your hockey over? You want to... <laughs> No, it's long over. I ah, guess it okay. was really good, too. We oh. lost, though, but it was a good game. Did they oh, score a touchdown, sir? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, well, they got six points. Wow. <laughs> there been some high scoring Ooh. shit over there. But anyway. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Is there anything you wanted to fucking talk about before we get off of here? Some plugs, maybe? Anybody plugging stuff these days? Oh, I hit a thousand followers on Twitter. I'm very mm. humbled by that. Thank you a lot I for everybody that. coming by. Very cool. Very cool. A lot of useless things to say. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> very cool things to share. And you're tweeting out some pretty neat uh, this and that. So go check them out. All these handles you see are all our Twitter handles. So. Come say hi sometimes. Check out uh, check out our other shit, socials all day long. The podcast is our bread and butter. We have been releasing some of our Fallout live streams to make way for some time to record and shit, being brexited out of town. All the, all the life things kind of get in the way, but we have a Fallout arc uh, with Duper Pulowski, a character created by Brackish over here, <laughs> and I'll be the overseer. It'll be our, our personal one-on-one -on -one session that we... Uh, kind of bore born the podcast out of and so if you're interested in learning some fallout 2d20 system by modifius you can check out a stream every second uh thursday or you can go check out the podcast because we're doing that shit over there as well otherwise and people definitely are it's been uh, blowing up so keep that up get the downloads going it's good stuff yeah it is good stuff we have a lot of fun with it a lot of the same humor you find here live and uh you know got some nicely written stuff i mean this even as far as character creation with this duper so i've been making a painting i've been dabbling with the digital art stuff lately and so i'm making this dorkiest fucking <laughs> painting of duper and I, I can't wait to share it i'll have to do like a work in progress wednesday uh post or something on twitter just to just to share because I'm, I'm looking forward to this dork moving through the wasteland and uh <laughs> seeing what the hell he gets into but uh but yeah the podcast is going strong and our streams are getting stronger thank you so much for supporting us and being here and uh checking us out um lolly you have anything interesting you're doing lately you want to plug you still are you writing anything good these days Come on. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I enter a few writing contests um, through NYC Midnight. You can look them up. They yeah. host writing contests all the time. Okay. Like, several a year and different different styles. So there's there would be like a 100 word, 500 word, 2000 short story fiction, screenwriting okay. fiction. Is there a and way? Usually... Is there a way that uh, some of the viewers could go and vote for you if if they found you? In these um, competitions, or no, is it like ju no, there's judges that? There's judges. Okay. Yeah, there's a panel of judges, but you can you can view my submitted works through their website. Okay. Um, any of them, and but yeah, that's that's the thing. Otherwise, I'm gaming. Like I, I might start streaming on Twitch. Um, I play Overwatch. What do you mean might start? <laughs> get, <laughs> get, on out it, there, get, get on there. Get on there. it. Okay. We'll I come. Mean, like... <laughs> we'll come into your chat room and fuck around. Oh, yeah. We're so good. We're I good have, for that. I have a squad that I play um, a lot of competitive games with, like Overwatch and stuff. And it's a bunch of guys. And actually, some of them were talking in the chat. Um, Early is safe and um, Quick Tide. Nope. Astro Tide. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Those are my friends. I play nice. with them often. And it's just, as a girl gamer, I feel like when i have like guys surrounding me i'm a bit insulated from the sexism oh you know? yeah like yeah so i don't really want to stream by myself i think that's the biggest thing that's been holding me back from doing that um just because i am the first one to get blamed if anything goes wrong and i really only play like competitive games hi sid <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching first time um, chat long time gamer <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and like so, if anyone does, you know, talk shit, 
these guys will be the first to say something about it. And it rarely happens be, um, when I am gaming with them, but it happens often when I'm by myself. Mm. And so I don't know. It's, it's a tough world. Out yeah. There. Yeah. It's a pretty disgusting world at a lot of times, yeah. but uh, <laughs> it, it's fucking awesome to say good on you safe. Good on you. Asteroid or ast astrotite. Sorry. <laughs> Just <laughs> asteroid. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Very, very awesome. I say you go for that. I'll hang out in your chat. I'll yeah. correct some people. Yeah, we'll moderate your Absolutely. fucking chat all yeah. day long. <laughs> we'll make a bot yeah, so vicious that. that nobody can touch you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm glad Rip you the feel. the dicks off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you feel good playing with us, and I'm happy to hear that you have a solid crew. What was the website again that they could find your written works on if they wanted to check you out? NYC. NYC Midnight. N or Midnight NYC. Midnight M Y C. NYC. N like as in November, New York City. New York City. Okay, okay. New York oh. City Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> NYC Midnight. Yeah. He's <laughs> getting on in the years. His hearing <laughs> is. Uh, I got headphones <laughs> on, but they don't work I so said good. He's getting on in the years. <laughs> My right headphone, it don't work so. <laughs> Turn and it up. actually, if anyone is into writing, I highly recommend like this. This site is legit. They give you um, feedback. Like they, their whole panel of judges give you feedback. Um, it's awesome. Like it's, it's cool. Really good for very very cool. NYC Midnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Noted. <laughs> MRK Flylight. <laughs> <laughs> There's a two in there somewhere. You said I think. Uh, uh, three. Was it three Qs? <laughs> <laughs> Q Q Q. <laughs> How about you? Ben? NYC Midnight. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Bendy? Are you making some more emotes for people yet, or what? Um, I'm about finished with the first set. Uh, I think by the end of the week, Damn. I should be done with it. Yeah. I'm doing a, a Ninja Turtles theme one, and. Uh, I think after that, I am going to make one on uh, some of the uh, Hanna Barbera stuff, you know, like uh, like Fred or Bar 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 Fred. Yeah, Fred. I don't know Fred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, definitely Flintstones stuff like that. You know. <laughs> Very cool. So when you when you finally uh, push that button to start selling those things, let us know. We'll I can help you out there as best we can. Plug plug plug. Most appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> Pac-Man. Right. Film. Cool. All, all right. So thank you guys very much for uh, being part of this game. And thank you all for viewing us and helping support the stream. We hope to see you again next Tuesday, Thursday, and any other given day we're on here. So <laughs> have a lot of fun. And until then, say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Ciao. Bye. bye. <laughs> yeah, but that but fuck. What? What? <laughs> <laughs>